Hello and welcome to the first episode of hopefully many of Let's Play DW2013. We're setting up a custom company uh, called Global Force Wrestling, obviously, based on the Jeff Jarrett proposed company of the same name. So today we are setting up the company and also hiring our first uh, group of wrestlers and various other people. So, we need to set our product and we're gonna go for probably a sports entertainment thing because that seems more what Jeff Jarrett would do going from TNA and stuff like that, but possibly with a little bit more Lucha Libre because I like Lucha Libre. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Must be packaged with a proper gimmick. High risky gimmicks, can make the gimmicks look simple, won't get subtle gimmicks, but storylines to sort, yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, change that so we can actually have that. And there we go. So now, very simple profile set up in 2015 by Jeff Jarrett. And we're going for an easy challenge because. I don't want to look like I'm crap at the game. So, now, we need at least 26 active wrestlers. We've got Jarrett who can be one, so that's 25 we need to hire. I'm going to hire Fair solely because I like having slightly more than the minimum. And that way if folk are busy with other companies, as might very well happen, we'll always have uh, folk Fair. So the first guy I'm going to hire, quite obviously, is AJ Styles. Because, you know, I don't want to have him do my shortlist, I want to hire him. Because there's no way that Jeff Jarrett would not hire AJ Styles. I mean, I think the guy was in the first match in TNA ever. So, I think he quite likes AJ Styles. <laughs> We're hiring Nakamura. We're hiring a lot of uh, New Japan people. Because, why not? And they have some of the best wrestlers in the world. And they're all on paper appeared. So we can hire them all. Which is why we're also hiring Okada. Because Okada is also cool. And now, we're moving to another group of people. The Bullet Club, as you can probably guess by here and here. I'm quite a fan of the Bullet Club, so they'll play quite a big role in this new company, and to be honest, given how Jeff Jarrett is sort of aligned with them, I would expect that to happen in uh, Global Force Wrestling, if, when it actually starts up properly. So we've got to Gallows, now Kenny Omega, because Kenny Omega is cool. Uh, I'll hire Kenny Omega for two years. Uh, then, the latest person to leave TNA, we're totally hiring Samoa Joe, because why not? I mean, the guy can have good matches and will always be awesome. Then we've got another group of people to leave TNA. I'm hiring a lot of uh, former TNA people because there's a lot of good people that TNA have released recently so there's a lot of good free agents. We can't hire Christopher Daniels without hiring Frankie Kazaria because I, I want the addiction slash bad influence in this game really badly. He also would hire, ah yes, my countryman and fellow Scott, I have to hire Drew Galloway. It's the law. In Scotland, that if you're running a wrestling company, you have to hire Drew Galloway. It's 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 uh, written legislation. Next guy, oh, our next guy's on the same page. That's quite handy. Is Doscaras Junior, better known as Alberto El Patron, because I'm a big fan of Alberto and he's awesome. Uh, who else are we on? Hiring a wrestler who sadly passed away recently, but from everything I've seen of him, he was totally awesome and I would have totally have hired him. So we're hiring him because he was cool. And then we've got Zack Sabre Jr., if I can spell his name, there you go, who is British and awesome, so I kind of need to hire him. As a freelancer, you're not looking for. First, I knew you being a freelancer, Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, hey. So we're only having him for six months, we'll need to hire someone else at some point to replace him. We're hiring Matt Hardy because he's a free agent and always a good wrestler. Then who else have we got? We've got Rey Mysterio Jr. Mysterio. 
Do junior ammo hyphen per year. So as you can see, we're making an interesting mix of former WWE guys, former uh, TNA guys, former uh, or current Ring of Honor guys. Just a bit of a mix of everything, really. I'm also signing quite a few tag teams, you may have noticed, because I like tag team wrestling, and I think it's uh, an interesting thing that you can build your company around. And also, it's something that uh, the WWE doesn't put much f focus on, so you can use that to beat them their own game. Wow. Yeah. So we've hired uh, Ray over that place, so let's hire... Uh, Another guy I actually quite like. I'm going to hire Justin Gabriel because I thought he was quite awesome. And then WWE fired him and I was, well, no, he quit. And I was a bit sad because <laughs> I quite liked him. Uh, who else have we got? We've got uh, Matt Seidel, another guy who just seemed to be released. We're hiring a lot of people that have actually just been released fairly recently. Uh, then I was going to hire Rhino because... Rhino's good in every company that he's ever worked in. He's been popular and he's been awesome. And I like Rhino. I don't have to defend my decisions. I'm hiring Rhino. Uh, then we're hiring some British people because I want to have some British people. So we're hiring Noam Dar because he's not active in America. That I meant to change that. <laughs> Professionalism. Yes, I wanted to turn off uh, restricted areas off because the whole. I am almost like Styles promotion. Jared is apparently going for is one focusing on a worldwide talent pool and well, a lot of folk like Noam Dar. Noam Dar should be said to be available in America. He usually is, and he's worked for TNA, so I, I want him for more than a year. I want him for free. Uh, who else have we got? Then we've got Liam Thompson, who's a Scottish wrestler I like, who I'm hiring basically to be a... He will basically be an enhancement talent, but he'll be a good heel enhancement talent, because he won't. He doesn't have any popularity in America. But he is awesome, so I'm hiring him. And then we've got, we've got Phoenix from Lucha Underground, because he's pretty awesome, and I like Lucha Underground. I'm a big fan of Lucha Underground. I'll probably end up hiring a lot of people from Lucha Underground. Uh... Is he under El Duago, maybe? No, we can hire El Dandy. Slightly tempted to hire El Dandy. I just under Duago. Another person from Lich Underground who, like, is incredibly awesome. And also, look at that mask. Holy crap, what a cool mask. Um, who else have we got now? BT Gun, another UK person that I like. He's pretty awesome. Uh, Jeeps, why not? I love the UK town, we'll start very low down the card for because they won't have any American popularity settings, so we need to build a lot of them up from the very bottom of the card. We need Pentagon, oh god, he's gonna be under his other name. I can't remember what Pentagon Jr.'s other ring name is. I'll just go to Lich Underground and hire him there. Uh, Pentagon Jr., Dark Dragon, there we go. We're going to use him as Pentagon Jr. because Pentagon Jr. has a cool mask. For those of you who don't watch Lucha Underground, look at that mask. How cool is that? So then, after Pentagon Jr., we've got Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson because we are very Bullet Club themed. So, may as well keep the Bullet Club coming in. So. Jackson, Matt Jackson, and we also want Adam Cole, because why not, bring him in for two years, and lastly I want to hire Dave Mastiff, because he's big and scary and I think he's quite awesome, so Dave Mastiff, dip and dip and so that is all the wrestlers we're going to hire. We're going to come back to this pretty shortly and hire our road agents and referees and ring announcers and everyone. But um, 
So let's say I look at the roster we've got. These are all the guys we're trying to hire. Hopefully they all agree. We have a lot of people who are junior. I just noticed that. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, we've got a, a lot of people on there. Got a, quite a few tag teams. So we've got the Bad Influence. We've got a, the team representing the Bullet Club. We've got the Young Bucks. And we can always make our own teams because... Oh, we've also got the Dudleys. So we've got plenty of teams we can be doing interesting stuff with. Now, one thing I might look at is the Hidden Gems, who are the obscure but recommended talents for you. Oh, so we've already hired one, because Paul Lloyd Jr. is one. Uh, there's Carlito. There's a man called Rough Crossing, which is an amazing ring name, and I'm slightly tempted to hire him, just because he has a really cool ring name. I might think about that. There's a man called Benjamin Bree, who's 24, who I've not heard of. He's from Gainesville, Florida. And there was someone else from Gainesville, Florida, and I can't remember who it is. And then we've got Namu Jim... I can never say his name. Guy from Noah. I might hire him. So, next thing we need to do is actually join the Global Force Wrestling Alliance, because that would be really awkward if they didn't let us in. But they let us in, so that's nice. So this means we can now borrow any wrestlers we want from AAA, the New Generation Wrestling, who I think are based in Hull, yeah, in uh, Britain. We've got New Japan, Pro Wrestling Alliance, who are Australia, and Westside Extreme Wrestling, who are Germany. Yeah, Germany. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'll probably add some more people to this, but firstly, seeing as I've stolen enough of their people already, I feel like we should invite Ring of Honor, just because... They might try and sign our guys on exclusive deals, and I don't want that to happen. And also, you know, they're friends with our friends, so we should be friends with them. Yay, they're now in our alliance. So, if we go back to the uh, worker screen, we can hire our ring announcers. And road agents and the like. So we want an announcer to hire. And I'm hiring Jim Ross. Because Jim... Oh, we can hire Joey Styles. Oh. I don't think Joey Styles would leave uh, TNA just for us. So we're going to hire Jim Ross. Yes, and we'll give him a written deal so no one else can use him. For ten years. <laughs> so no one else can have Jim Ross. Because we're being our souls, basically. And uh, we need a color commentator, and I'll probably go for a Matt Stryker, probably. Yeah, I'll go for Matt Stryker. I might hire Kevin Kelly at some point, because I quite like Kevin Kelly. Um, I could hire Mike Adams, Jesus Christ. Uh, Matt Stryker, there he is. Oh my god, Rob Conway. Oh, no. And we'll give him a paper appearance deal. We'll say that he has to be a color commentator. Otherwise, he'll be like, why aren't I being a wrestler and moaning? But now he'll be like, I'm a color commentator, so I have to be a color commentator. There we go. Now, referees. I think there will probably be some former WWE referees we can just hire. I think, uh, what's his name? Cordius? Uh, what's his name again? Something Cordius. Who is he? There's a guy called Joe Strawberry. That's, that's a cool name. Okay, I'm to hire him just because I like his name. Uh, we'll look for good refereeing skills. Because obviously you want a referee who's good at being a referee. So, Jimmy Cordius, that's his name. He's under Jim. There we go. We'll hire him. I liked him. He was a cool referee. That's our referees. Yes, we'll have one, I think. Maybe two. Maybe hire Nick Patrick with evil mustache. Yeah, hire Nick Patrick with his evil mustache. We'll give him a written deal too, so we always have our referees when we need them. Now, all we need for our company to work is a road agent. So we're looking for nothing. Let's see the kind of people we can hire. We can hire a scumbag cornet. We can hire Jerry Lynn, Yarkamala, 
Now we're, we can hire Paige's dad. We can hire Super Dragon. We get Super Dragon gents every show. We can hire Stan Hansen. That could be cool. I think he's probably too old when we just say he wants to retire, which is annoying. Yeah. Same with Dory Funk Jr., other retirement. And Harley Ricks, actually. Ooh, Tully Blanchard. I do like Tully Blanchard. Is Bobby Eaton? Oh, Bobby Eaton's not available as a road agent. That's annoying. I would have hired Bobby Eaton. I like Bobby Eaton. Um, nim, 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 nim. Oh, let's hire Jerry Lynn. I like Jerry Lynn. Uh, we'll give him a written deal for five years because we want to have a road agent. Oh, and we can hire Lance Storm. Lance Storm is a pretty decent wrestler. I'll hire him on paper appearance though because I'm less keen on Lance Storm so I can get rid of him if I want. Oh my god, Ace is an eight deal, Brown. My god. Anyway, so. Oh my god, we have so many folk that we're hiring. Anyway, yeah, so here we go. Wrestlers, we've got our two announcers. Uh, referee, referee, and two road agents, which I think is everything we need. I mean, I don't think we're hiring. We're going to have a women's division to begin with. I wait till we're a bit bigger and a bit richer to add one in. But, yes, yeah, so that. We don't have any events scheduled. I'll wait till we've got everyone hired. We need to hire the wrestlers. We've just done that. We need to hire announcers. We don't have any storylines running. We can't do that until we have any wrestlers. And we have no active title belts. Now, I'm not going to add them now because they'll lose prestige if, there's, if they're vacant for too long, which is a bit annoying. But the, the, I was going to have a world... I'll show you what ones I was going to use. So I was going to use a world title and I was going to use this world title design because, oh my god, that looks awesome. For That's for our World Heavyweight Championship, which will obviously be our main event title. Then we've got... I'm going to have an X Division title because why not? And then we'll go for what picture was it I said I liked? I'll go for this one. I mean, it's obviously based on the TNA one, but it looks nice. Then we've got the uh, tag team title, which I can't mind if I actually put the image in or not. It's an image I quite like for what the tag team title. Da, 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 this one. So that'll be for our tag team titles. Which obviously be mid card and a tag team title, funnily enough. And then for our non high flyers, we are going to have not the undisputed championship, that'd be a bit of a bit of a insult. We'll go for this sweet, sweet US title. That is a cool title bell. I really like that championship. So we know what we're gonna have when we eventually get everyone hired for us. So I think I think that's everything for like this sort of set period. Oh wait, no it isn't. We need to get a pay-per-view deal. Always have to remember the pay-per-view deal. And also a TV deal if we can have one, but I don't think this is one of the negotiation ones. So in your cult, you can get a medium size one in your home region. So we can either be on Blue Ridge, who are already working with TNA, or we can be on Sinclair, who aren't working with Ring of Honor, which is kind of funny. We're going to screw you guys, Ring of Honor. <laughs> So yeah, we've uh, they've got that. We've pro in fact we can get a small one in Mexico as well, if I remember right. So if we go for a tiny and tiny in Mexico, we can be on local Mexico pay per view network, and we can also get one in Canada. That's a bit bigger. I think we can get like very small or small. Um, this one. So, we've got our pay-per-view deals, TV networks don't uh, negotiate this month, I don't believe, no. I have to wait to Maeve to get a TV program. So, that's everything set up. Now we just need to advance a few days, wait till everyone's signed, and then go from there, we'll work out what our storylines are going to be, who's going to be our contenders for our title belts, and the rest of the show from there. In fact, we can even borrow people from other companies now. Who have we got? We can hire a few from AAA in that for a couple of shows. That might be cool. We can uh, borrow a from New Japan, even though I signed half of New Japan. <laughs> but it feels like I signed half of New Japan. 
Yeah, I think I could hire Suzuki. Anyway. Yeah, enough of uh, uh, faffing around, basically. So, yeah, wait. one thing I want to do is check where we are in, in the company standings. So, we're, we're third. I think we shouldn't be third. I think we should actually be fourth, to be honest. I think New Japan should actually be bigger than TNA, personally. But, whatever. The mod maker's discretion. Uh... Let's have a look through the company rankings. Like, uh, so we're allied with number four, number five, and number ten. That's quite good. So we should maybe invite Noah, seeing as Noah are friends with New Japan. So I do that. Lucha Underground's eleven. That's cool. Uh, to see who the highest UK promotion is as well, because I'm kind of curious. I had to say IZW. I thought it would be. And then All Star. All Star bigger than Preston. I'm not sure I agree with that. And Progress is a bit low down. Progress should maybe be number two in the UK. Like Progress here and All Star there. But that's just my preference. My personal opinion. And oh god, New Generation Wrestling are the smallest company. <laughs> what does it say about them? Two of this company. Ooh, 43rd in the world, but they're the 22nd richest, so it's not all bad. And half of their people don't have pictures. Apart from Zach Gibson, he has a picture. But half of the rest of the guys are just no pick. I'll probably, as I play this, I'll update pictures if I can. And that's quite a good picture of Jeff Jarrett, but you know. Like, it's probably a new picture of The Undertaker post WrestleMania 31 floating around, so I'll add one of him. God, John Cena is the most muscular and richest wrestler in the world. And Folk Fantasy Brooke. Who is... Dating Robbie E, apparently. Hmm, I didn't know that. So anyway, that is enough of this episode. There's been a bit of faffing about at the end that I'll probably edit out if I remember to edit. If I don't edit it out, it added something. Hopefully. So anyway, this has been the first episode of Let's Play TW2013. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one.